In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert from liters to milliliters and milliliters to liters. Now, I'm going to show you a quick way of doing so, and then I'm also going to show you how to show your work in case you're studying for an exam. Now, you need to know the conversion factor. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. If you divide both sides by 1,000, you get that one milliliter is equal to 0.001 liter. You can add that to your notes, but we're not going to use that conversion factor much. Now, here's how you can quickly get your answer. Let's say you have liters and you want to convert it to milliliters. What should you do? In this case, you want to multiply the value by 1,000. That's the quick and simple way to convert from liters to milliliters. Now, to go backwards, let's say if you have milliliters and you want to get liters. In this case, the opposite of multiplication is division. You need to divide by 1,000. And so that's how you can quickly go from liters to milliliters or milliliters to liters. Now, let's work on some examples. So let's say we have 850 milliliters and we want to convert that to liters. What should we do? To go from milliliters to liters, we need to divide by 1,000. So 850 divided by 1,000 is 0.85. So this is the answer for the first part of the problem or rather the problem itself, I meant to say that. But now how can we show our work to get this answer? To show your work, start with what you're given, the 850 milliliters. You wanna set it up as a fraction. Now in the second fraction, you want to use your conversion factor. Now notice that we have the unit milliliters on the top part of the first fraction. We want the same unit to be on the bottom part of the second fraction. So we're going to take this portion of the equation and put it below the second fraction. And the reason why we're going to do that is so that these units will cancel. The other part of the equation, we're going to put it on the top. And so that's how we can show our work. And thus you can see it's 850 divided by 1,000. We're dividing it by 1,000 because the 1,000 is in the denominator of the fraction. So 850 divided by 1,000 is 0.85 liters. Now let's work on two practice problems. Go ahead and convert 76 milliliters into liters and convert 2.3 milliliters into liters for the sake of practice. Feel free to pause the video and try those two examples. So for the first one, start with what you're given, 76 milliliters over one. And then in the second fraction, we're going to convert it. So we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. Set it up in such a way that the unit milliliters will cancel. So it's going to be 76 divided by 1,000. And that is 0 0.076 liters. So that's it for this problem. Now let's move on to the next one. And we're going to follow the same process. Start with 2.3 milliliters over 1 and then convert. So we're going to put the 1,000 milliliters on the bottom, just like before, so that these units will cancel. So it's 2.3 divided by 1,000. You could basically move the decimal three units to the left, if you don't have a calculator. And this will give you 0 0.0023 liters. So now you know how to convert from milliliters to liters. But what about converting? from liters to milliliters. Let's try that. Now let's write out our shortcut equation. We said that to go from liters to milliliters, we need to multiply by 1,000. And to go backwards, we have to divide by 1,000. So in this case, we're going to multiply because we're going from liters to milliliters. So 0.25 times 1,000 is 250 milliliters. 
That's going to be our answer for this example. Now, let's show the work. So let's start with what we're given. So notice that we have the unit liters on the top of the fraction. So in our conversion uh, factor, or conversion equation, if you want to call it that, we need to take this part of the equation and put it on the bottom. So that these units cancel. The other part of the equation, we're going to put that on the top. So in this case, because the 1,000 is on the top part of the fraction, that tells us that we need to multiply. So it's 0.25 times 1,000, which is 250 milliliters. Now for practice, go ahead and work on these two examples. Convert 0.653 liters into milliliters, and then convert 0 0.014 liters into milliliters. So just like before, start with what you're given. Now we know that one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So keep in mind, you need to set it up in such a way that these units will cancel. So it's 0 0.653 times 1,000, which is going to be 653 milliliters. For the next one, we're going to start with what we have, 0 0.014 liters, and use the same conversion factor. Cross out these units. So it's 0 0.014 times 1,000. So we need to move the decimal point three units to the right. And that's going to be 14 milliliters. So now you know how to convert from liters to milliliters and from milliliters to liters. So that's it for this video. That's all I got. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching.